Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on and some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so, if not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. 
What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. Appreciate you checking in with me. This have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Be careful, please. Hey, Professor! Damn it! It's just like what happened to us. You think the Professor will be okay? He knew what he was doing. This is not the time for heroics. Little harsh. He could be in deep shit. What is this? This was a mistake. I should have gone with John. 
He shouldn't have gone in alone. Don't give yourself a hard time. You think he's okay in there? I don't know. I can't tell if whatever it was in there meant us harm. I just hope he's okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What's up? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, 
what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. I'm not sure we're really getting anywhere. We should catch up with John. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. 
Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. <gasps> What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. I shouldn't have listened to you back there. We'd still all be together. No one forced you. We'll find another way. Hey, are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I'll be gone. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? 
I am frozen to my marrow. I have done nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. The place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. <sighs> I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hello? Anyone there? Come on, will you?
Hello? Who's there? You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There is talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? Uh, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Ben. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but 
I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. Jeez, I thought the professor was blowing smoke up our asses with his Angela twin story. I guess not. Well, lookalike Angela was arrested. She was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. 